Okay. Thank you. All right. Six, seven, eight. Plie, tendu, stay in plie, straighten. Two, regular tendus. Plie, tendu, deeper plie, straighten. Tendu, two first, straight, two first. Plie, tendu, can you make it deeper and straighten? Second tendu, back and to the side. Plie and turn out, turn out muscles, working as hard as possible. Repeat in fifth. Plie, tendu, plie, fifth. Straighten. music ends right on time. How did that feel? Are you guys feeling that turnout thing? Good. I see many nods. Let's take the second side. Six, seven, eight. Plie, tendu, plie and straight. Tendu, close first. Tendu, close first. Plie, Oh, I'm feeling warm. Okay, let's take one more tendu from fifth. Still feeling all those things that we were feeling in that combination, but without having to do the plie beforehand. So let's take from fifth position, one, two, three, four, tendu front, rond de to the back, Rond de jambe to the front and close. Then to the side, we'll again take one, two, three, four tendus. And then let's take another four. Two, three, four. Then repeat back. Back, two, three, four tendus. And then we'll take back, draw a big circle with the toe to the front, circle to the back and close. And then repeat to the side, one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. And then let's take a balance in susu with arms first or arms fifth. Again, your choice. Tight, tight, tight fifth position. Arches as high as possible. And butt squeezing, holding everything, not tucked, but lifted. So one more time. We have four to the front, front, circle, back, circle, front, close. Four to the side, three, 
four, and another four to the side, three, four. Four to the back, two, three, four, back, circle, front, circle, back, side, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Let me just listen to music. Um, I don't want to do anything too crazy. So let me just hear it real quick before we do it for real. It's actually a little slow. Let me try the same tondo. Okay, sorry for boring music, but we're just gonna use the same one. So we'll have one da 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 two da 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 three da 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 four da 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 five and six and seven and eight. All right, for real this time. Arm still to the side. Three, four. Front, 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 circle back. Circle front, close. Side, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back, two, three, four, back, circle front, circle back, close. Side, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and balance in susu elbe. Stomach lifting up, butt tucking under, arms lifted, elbows lifted. Chin should be slightly above eye level, and your head is lifting up, up, up. Nice, beautiful dancers. Really nice. All right, let's take second side. Front, two, three, four, and front, circle, back, circle, front. Side, two, three, four, five, six, down. Arms are looking beautiful. Most of you I can't see your legs, but your arms are looking nice. Um, nice and lifted. Let's take a degashe. Um, let's take four to the front. So same start. One, two, three, four. Then let's take front. We're going to go through first to back, through first to front, and close. And then again, we'll take eight to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then repeat back. So we'll take four to the back, three, two, one, brush back, through first front, through first back, close, and then eight to the side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So again, it's just four. And then on close, so front, through first, back, through first, front, close. Eight to the side, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Does that make sense? Questions, do we need to see it again? Oh, I'm seeing thumbs up, oh, feels good. Affirmation is good. 
All right, let's, well, let me hear the music real quick before we jump in. So hold off for a sec. Mm, it's a little quick. Seven, eight. Let's go at that pace. All right, first side. Again, arms to the side, but if you like really want to add arms, if you know arms, you can do arms high fifth and then arms to the back if you would like. But I'm just going to keep mine side. In, two, three, four, front, back, front, close. Okay, take 30 seconds for anyone who hasn't done on cloche before, which is this front, first, back, first, just to try it on the left side. Just take 30 seconds to practice. Front through first, back through first. So you're going through a full first position, just like you would in, like if you were standing there, but you can keep that weight on this standing leg. So it's not back, weight, front, Wait, you can pretend you're on one leg the whole time and just place that foot in first. So my weight's always over that standing leg. Almost like just swinging this pendulum without putting any weight on it. All right, let's try second side. Wonderful. Um, one more comment I want to make is just to make sure when you're doing, especially I'm thinking, and I'm, I'm really just telling you guys corrections that I'm thinking for myself because I can't really see you. So, you know, hopefully, you know, you're struggling with the same things I am. But I think when we go side, we have a tendency to hang on to the bar and kind of do it out here, which I'm obviously exaggerating. This is more like contemporary dance. But really, I feel myself doing that a lot. And so my weights, where it should be if I was on both legs, but I'm trying to do something on one leg. And like, the bar is not there for that. The bar is there for light, emotional and physical support, but it's not there to support you completely. So when you're doing degage, tendu, anything to the side, first off, it's great to just practice without the bar, just because I, I mean, see even there, I just fall over because my weight's not all the way over. And over correct, put your weight more over the standing leg than you think you need to. Like here's where I feel like I need to be, but then I fall over. I actually need to be all the way over here in order to stay up. So that's something to think about. Basically the TLDR is put your weight more over the standing leg when you're to the side than you think you need to, and that will help you. All right, let's take hmm, more degage. Do we want another degage or move on? Silence. Let's move on. I feel good about degage. Um, what comes next? Let's do a ronde Um I always like to include ronde in tendu combinations. I think we did a ronde in our second tendu because I feel like it's the best turnout warm up. Um, but let's do some more ronde Starting from fifth position, let's take a prep this time. So arm will start low. So we'll take five, six, seven, Eight. Let's just take four rondechamps, three, four, 
And then you can either keep your arm to the side or take a port de bras. So on the last one, elongé, and we'll take arm down, arm through first, arm high, arm through second. And then we're just gonna take one rond de jambe, but with our legs at 45 degrees, two, three, four. So we'll do that, let's take that in four counts, and then try and let go of the bar on the last four counts. So keeping that arm to the side, five, six, seven, close fifth, eight, and then we'll repeat back. So we have four normal round de jambes, two, drawing a big circle with the toe, four, and then four with the arm, optional, high, through first, low, through second. One, two, three, four, and then let go of the bar, five, six, seven, eight. Um, then we'll just take a port de bras forward, two, three, four, port de bras back, six, seven, eight, port de bras into the bar, two, three, four, port de bras away from the bar, six, seven, eight, and then let's susu and let's bounce in a high passe. Or if you're feeling like you're not ready for that, you can just take a coupe bounce. Um, but I'm gonna take a high passe, we'll balance one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for a million years. So one more time, we have four normal round de jambes, four vanilla round de jambes, and we have some birthday cake round de jambes, arm low, arm medium, arm high, arm second, then one, two, three, four, let go, five, six, if you're feeling really extra, you can try releve, seven, eight, or not extra. If you're feeling like you wanna challenge yourself, shouldn't make it a negative thing. Um, if you wanna challenge yourself, take a quick releve at the end. And then we'll repeat back, then we have forward, back, oh, can't see me, forward, back, side, side, passe balance. Feel free to take the passe on flat as well. If you just wanna work on getting on your leg on flat, that's also great. Does that make sense? Feeling good? Awesome, all right. Let me get some music. I might have some fun, I have a few like pop song for ballet. Do I have a ronde jam? Just kidding, I don't, I shouldn't have promised that. All right. Seven, eight, one, Beautiful. I have to say, I'm really impressed. Again, I'm only seeing your arms, but everyone's elbows are so wonderfully lifted in their port de bras, which is like one of the hardest things to maintain. So I'm very impressed with that across the board. One quick thing I want to say about passe. I can't see. I mean, maybe you're all doing this um, with your legs that I can't see. But it's that I like to really focus on this part of the body. I think there's a lot of focus on like what's going on here. Obviously, a lot's going on here. Um, but I think 
this part of the body is oft forgotten in passe, and really feeling lifted in this part of your body will actually help you balance better and help your hips stay square. So it's not just about like, oh, let me push down this one and then pull this up and then finagle it so I'm all square. I like to think just lifting this whole side of the body from the calf all the way through the side, lifting that up, lifting that up, lifting that up, and that'll help you maintain a more square position in passe. So on this next side, think about that, uh, thinking about the side, and then I also like to think about lifting not just the side, but also the front of this hip. So this part that, you know, we stretch when we do this, this place with the psoas, also lifting that up as well. So let's focus on that in our balance on the second side. Any questions about this combination? Like everyone's nailing it. Awesome. Let's take left side. Beautiful. Whew. Okay. One more thing I wanted to say about that, which I should have said between sides, but I'll say after the fact anyway, is this Ramajam on layer is another time we're thinking about being more over your standing leg than you think you need to be it is crucial. So it's really easy to do it, I'll try to do it facing you. Like this, holding onto the bar. It's not that easy because I fell over, but we tend to do that and to keep our weight in one place. But really when you move from front to side, you need to move your weight further over your standing leg to stay on balance. So think about that. You can take a few moments to practice that on your own. Really just, I think trying it without the bar is the best way to discover like where does your weight need to be as that leg is circling around in the air. It's the same as when it's on the floor, but it's, all, it's like more pronounced because your leg is lifted and you have to counteract that weight in different ways. So, beautiful, yeah. Just something to think about. Let's take a, how are we doing on time? Oh, oh we're doing fantastic. Let's take a fondue. So we're just gonna do a simple fondue, fondue. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna do a little bit similar to what we did because I really like spending time with our hands off the bar, especially since we can't do center because um, of space restrictions, obviously. So let's take fondue, passe, fondue, front, and then take the arm off the bar, hold, seven, eight. Fondue, passe, fondue to the side, arm off the bar, hold, seven, eight. Fondue, passe, fondue, back, arm, hold, 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 coupe, passe, coupe, side, hold, 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 hold. And that's it. And then let's, no, we'll stop in between. We'll stop in between. Does that make sense? Everyone? 
We're good with fondue. We love fondue. It's our favorite combination. No, no one said that. Um, I have a question. Yeah. So when you fondue to the side, when you extend mm -hmm. to the side, your ankle is rotated out? More your ankle. Ten? Which your ankle are we talking about? Your heel, I'm sorry, your heel? Your heel, yes. Your heel is always rotating out, so yes. Okay. So are you talking about this heel right here, this working heel? Yes. Yeah, so exactly right. So instead of fondue, heel facing down, heel is like, like we are in tondu, rotating under. Theoretically, this heel is like facing the front. You know, it's like that. I don't know anyone who can do that, so really it's just facing down. But trying to get that heel to face the zoom camera right now is what we're aiming for there. Does that, that help? Yes, thank you. Great. Any other questions? Let me just hear the music. I don't want to give you guys anything too torturous. And then we'll go right ahead. Let me see if I have any fun fondues. No, I don't have any fun fondues. OK. Oh, no, this one's fun. It's a little bossa nova. Let me just hear it. So before we start, fondue, passe to the front, hold. OK, it's a little torturous. Seven, eight. That's OK. You came here for ballet. You get ballet, I guess. So that means it's torturous. Are we ready? All right, let's do it. And if you are an intermediate dancer and you want to add the arms in on the fondue, you're welcome to. I'm just going to leave mine side. Um, but if that's something you're into, you're welcome to add that on top. Fondue. Passe. Fondue to the front. And lift the arm off the bar. Six, seven, eight. Fondue and passe. Fondue to the side. And hold. Heel where your weight is. Seven. Heel rotating. Fondue. Passe. Fondue to the back. And hold. Hold. Arms and hips are, or shoulders and hips are square. Fondue. Passe. Fondue. Side. Hold. 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 Great. One more thing I want to say. Oh, we shouldn't have a balance. I mean, we'll do a balance after the next combo. One more thing I wanted to say about this, which I realized as I was doing it, is, and you have plenty of time to employ this because it's so slow. Instead of just taking it fondue, passe, fondue, out, I want you guys to try feeling fondue. Come to your passe, and then with that extra little bit of music, keep trying to lift it up, 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 up before you go fondue and out. So that passe never just hits like a static position. It gets to where it's going and then it keeps growing and trying to lift as high as you can until you come to fondue and front. And same to the side, passe, lift up, passe to the side. And that keeps you from just kind of getting to the position and then resting. Keeps your, your um, thighs and all your muscles that you're using to get to that passe active the whole time and strengthening the whole time. If you think about lift, 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 fondue, next position. So let's try thinking about that on this next side. All right. Six, seven, eight, fondue. Lift, 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 fondue to the front and hold. Hold, hold, hold. Fondue, lift, 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 fondue to the side. And hold, 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 hold. Fondue, passe, lift, lift, fondue, back. Keep those shoulders square, elbows in front of you. Fondue, lift, 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 fondue to the side. And hold, hold, make sure that weight is all the way over your standing leg. I hope you guys are feeling it. I'm feeling it. 
Ooh, and harder when you try talking during it. That's not really. <laughs> um, all right. Ooh. Should we take, do we do frappe? Have you, are you guys in frappe land? We've, have we done frappe? Yes, okay. I don't, I don't know what Lauren's teaching you guys. Um, let's see. Let's take five, six, tondu seven, prep eight. Um, you guys you just can't really see my feet, can you? I'm gonna move this down. Just a hair. Fair warning, I actually do my frappes with a pointed foot. So instead of doing this, I actually do it with a pointed foot. So if you see me doing that, I'll try not to because I think generally people do it like this. So I want to stick with that. But if you see me doing that, that's why. And if you want bonus points, you can try it that way. It's hard, but I like it better. So anyway, five, six, seven, eight. Let's take front, 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 and then we'll take front, side, back, hold. Two to the back, three, quicker, to the back, to the side, to the front. And then we'll take side, side, one, two, three, side, side, one, two, three, and then, are you guys familiar with petite bot mall? Oh, great thing for us to learn today then. Um, so petite bat ma is basically you're taking a coupe and then you're going to slightly lift your leg out and then bring it to back coupe. Out, front coupe, out, back, out, front, out, back. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like the robot dance, except with an active leg really, so that's not a good analogy. But we're just switching between a front coupe and a back coupe and letting that leg just go out a little bit to switch. And that's it. So it just looks like this. So if I teach again, I'll break it down and we'll do like a more intense study of it, but something just to try for today. So after we've done everything to the side, we'll just take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll take back, two, one, two, three, back, side, front, front, two, one, two, three, front, side, back, side, two, one, two, three, side, two, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or you can go even slower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The cool thing about Petite Bat Ma is it actually doesn't have to be on the music. So you can kind of do it at whatever pace works for you as you're trying it out for the first time. So don't feel pressure to like be on the music or anything. Just see how it feels on your body. Theoretically in the end it's like it's supposed to be really quick. So we have da 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 da. But the way that we'll start out with it is just slowly coupe back, coupe front, coupe back, coupe front. Does that make sense? So we have two Slow, one, two, three, front, side, back, back, two, one, two, three, back, side, front, side, two, one, two, three, side, two, one, two, three, and then petit pat ma at your pace, just front, back, front, back with the coupes, trying it out. And I can't see most of your feet, so if you're not, if you don't feel good about it, don't feel any pressure. This is a judgment-free, can't see your feet zone. So let me just hear the music real quick before we start. One, two, ooh, that's a little bit. This is fast. That's too slow. All right, well, I'm gonna do the slow one because the fast one was too fast. But let me hear this one one more time. Okay. We're gonna do this one. The three frat pace is pretty quick, so be ready for it. Keep those abs engaged. All right, any questions before we start? Dope. 
let's do it. second side. Um, oh, only thing I was going to say is one more thing to think about if you don't have enough is when you're coming front, the most important thing in frappe is to bring that knee directly to the side when you're coming back to the flex position. If you leave it to the front, then we have this, and then it's just, that will just not do. That will not do. That's not what we're aiming for. So think of the thing that's leading you back as your knee. The knee is bringing the leg back, not the foot, not the toe, not the ankle, not the whatever. The knee, the knee, the knee. All right, I like to think about that in the back too, because I, well, never mind. ignore that. Let's take second side. feeling it because I'm feeling it we have five minutes left uh let's do a dodge mm. do we want to do a dodgeo or a ground up ma and then something in center silence let's do ground up ma and then something in center I don't like a dodgeo um plus I feel like we've done a lot of holding today so for ground up ma let's take well let's actually start with eight little leg swings so just Letting the legs swing like so. You can flex the foot, point the foot, relax the foot, whatever. And keeping the knee bent, we'll just take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, let's do 16. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so those are ground up mah at whatever height is appropriate for you. It can just be like a light swing to 60 or 90, or if you want to like really kick it, whatever is comfortable for your body right now. So again, we're going to take 16 leg swings. One, two, just loosening up the hip. Again, you can whack this, or you can just keep it light, whatever you feel like you need for your hips to warm up. So 16 there, and then we'll take two to the front two to the side, two to the back, two to the side. And then let's take an attitude balance. So we're gonna take that outside leg to passe, and then back to attitude, and then balance. You can't see my arms, but they're in fifth position. Balance arms high, or you can balance on flat, whichever 
Do you prefer? Does that make sense? Questions? Let's hear some music. I think I do have, actually do have some fun grandma mom music. Let me just hear it. Somehow that just does not work. All right, let's do, I don't know, this is a little funky, but we're just gonna do it anyway. Let's take the 16, and then we'll take one on claw. So we'll take 16, and then we'll have one side back, and then the next side, just close it back again, and then we'll repeat back. So we'll have 16 leg swings, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, fifteen, sixteen. 16. Back, side, front, side, but close it where you came from. And then we'll take our balance in attitude. Does that make sense? It's a little different than what I originally showed. All right, let's do it. Two minutes left. And swing, 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 swing. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, hold up. Hold up, everyone. I deeply apologize. It was my own fault. The original combination was good. I just, I didn't do enough leg swings when I was marking it. So we will do 16, two, 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 balance and attitude. What I originally said, not the second combination, I apologize. So just watch me, but apologies for the fumble. Seven, eight, one, two, Thank you for hanging in there with combinations change and then rechange. One more side. Attitudes are looking beautiful. Remember, this is not what we're going for. We're going for knee up like dog, except for behind you. So knee up, knee up, knee up in that attitude. All right, second side. Thank you, everyone. That is the end of class. Sorry, I hope to do one center combination, but it is 5.02, so we must end. Thank you all for coming. Um, hopefully, Lauren will be back soon, uh, but thank you, guys. And if you have any questions or 
concerns or anything, feel free to stick around. I'll stay on for like a minute or two after.